hi everybody welcome back to my channel i hope everybody is doing well alhamdulillah i am doing fine this video is going to be a cook with me tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to make one of my favorite dishes chicken curry so in this pot i have one onion with a little bit of oil and you want to cook the onions until they are light brown not burnt or light brown you want to cook the onions until they have some color on them as you can see they're starting to get a little bit of color on them which is good of course you need your chicken this is my chicken. I pre-spice this. You can choose to pre-spice it. It helps with the marinating process of the chicken. I have one teaspoon of meat tenderizer, a half teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of turmeric, and that's about it. And some... Uh, black seeds okay so this is the marinade i marinated this for about maybe mm, since 3 a.m this morning so it is now 10 o'clock so and then you're gonna, also going to need two tomatoes i use small tomatoes but you can use as much tomato as you would like. Let's add the tomato into the pot. Okay, now when you make a chicken curry, you want to make sure that all your ingredients are roughly the same size. So you want to make sure, you also want to make sure that your tomato has time to cook a little bit because tomatoes are very acidic acidic so you want to make sure you want you want to make sure you have time to cook down that acidity this is how we're looking I'm gonna put a lid on this lower the heat and cook it for about two minutes now when it comes to your chicken you can spice your chicken and you can cut it up as small or as big as you like I like pretty small pieces like this what I usually do is I usually throw <coughs> I usually throw everything into the pot and just let everything cook. Okay, so now we're gonna add in chicken. There we go. Now there's two different kinds of rubs. There's a dry rub. There is a kind of wet rub. You can choose what kind of rub you want to add to your chicken. I preferably like dry rubs on my chicken. But you can choose whether you want it to be a dry rub or whether you want it to be a wet rub. For me, dry rubs, they have a little more flavor. Okay, this is how everything looks. With the chicken in the pot, the onions, tomato, everything's cooking. Now the chicken itself has a lot of moisture. 
So you don't need to add liquid. You just want to give it a stir whenever you add the chicken. And put the lid on it. And cook it down. Now you cannot walk away from this because the moment you walk away, it can burn like that. So you don't want to walk away from whatever you're making chicken curry. You always want to check it. Give it a little bit of stir because sometimes the chicken does get stuck to the bottom. So you always want to make sure that you give it a little bit of a stir. The water, the water, it's totally up to you. I don't, sorry, I don't add water. Because I have been making chicken curry for years, so I don't need to add water. But if you feel like you need to add water, then by all means, add the water. This is how we're looking. Mmm, chicken curry is based off the of smell. So, the way that it smells and the aroma. The, the benefit of using a dry spice is that you can really smell the aroma. And the benefits of having the chicken marinade before you cook the chicken. Even the marinade can be as little or as long as you want. So the little amount would be 30 minutes if you have it cut the chicken up add the spices and let it cook let it marinate for about 30 minutes preferably overnight in the fridge would be nice but that's the reason why i cut up the chicken at 3 a.m because i knew that my mom wanted me to make chicken curry she told me the night before so Sorry guys, I've been really inactive on this channel. I've been working so much with Camly, so that takes up my nights. I don't even have time to watch the baseball game anymore. I haven't watched the Met game in so long. I watched the reruns in the morning, the hour reruns. So I've been so busy with work that I haven't even had time to do anything to cook, to clean, to do anything. All right, let's go check on this chicken. Ooh, that looks good. add in a little bit of water just to make sure that everything cooks down. I'm going to show you guys the amount of water that I'm going to add to my chicken curry. I'm adding about that much water just to make sure that everything is cooked. What you want? You want your chicken curry to have gravy.
this is done thank you guys so much for watching my cook with me chicken curry video step-by-step -step guide inshallah i'll see you guys in my next one bye everybody peace